Hello there, this is uh, Michael Finley here, uh, Esoteric Author in the UK. Uh, today in this video I'm going to and I don't try and uh, that orbs are merely dust particles in the atmosphere that are lit up by the flash of the camera. And of course, yes, many of them are. However, you know, that there are uh, encounters where people have seen orbs with their, with their own eyes, and that includes myself. Where well, I've seen all different colours of orbs outside and inside. I've also seen uh, that the, the spirit of a, a an animal uh, in the form of an orb. And at the exact same time, my, my wife saw the same animal, a cat, uh, as an apparition. But I saw it just as a, as a pure white ball of light. Uh, and that really was, a, was an orb. And I've had many, many encounters with these orbs. <clears throat> so what are... A scientific explanation for orbs. Well, plasma ball orbs have, have also been seen to create crop circles, and it's also been registered that there's a, a, an in, intelligent communication between the plasma that are creating these crop circles, which I go a lot into into my books and, and my talks, as with all of these subjects that I discuss on the video. So I'm just going to talk about it in brief. So, within within the brain, there are, and, and also DNA, there are what is known scientifically as vacuum domains. Now, vacuum domains are really self-radiant, self-generated balls of light that are created by the principal forces of electromagnetism and gravity, which creates what is known as a, a gravity spin. Now, they are controlled by uh, and often to, uh, created by the mind, as they have the same kind of frequency and same, same kind of uh, wave. Now, science proves in the, the Casimir effect that within these vacuum energy of empty space, it can have a, an impact and can exert force on physical objects. And this is the energy within a vacuum. Now, <clears throat> these these orbs that are controlled and created by the mind, especially when you have lots of spiritual gatherings and then you have a lot of focused consciousness. You have what is known as new spheres, which are basically the, the intellect of the mind. It is a sphere of, of human thought. And of course, thought is pinnacle when you go to the likes of ancient Egypt and you have their, their god, Teote. Teote is really code for thought. So it's not a god that exists. It is an esoteric code that is telling you about the power of your thought. Now, in DNA, these vacuum domains cause a magnetized wormhole, uh, and they're basically connected to universal wormholes, which is something I've all also seen as well. Now, they are connected by tunnel connections, basically, and they pass, pass information between the brain and the universal wormholes, uh, dimensional portals of space. So these vacuum domains are really miniature black holes of space. So orbs are really, in many cases, a product of the mind. They are a collective consciousness, a focused force that create vacuum domains of self-radiant balls of light. And it's our mind that is controlling them. Now, if our mind can control these balls of light, what mind is creating the balls, the plasma balls of light that are creating geometric crop circles. Now these crop circles are geometric messages and the, the geometric messages are being emitted within the sound waves of that geometry. So what, what mind, what powerful mind is creating these crop circles that are communicating, say, you know, that we saw the light at the end of the tunnel and we saw the light. Well, of course, that is also the mind as well. And it is really uh, the, the, tunnel, uh, the tunnel of singularity. Now, singularity, mathematical singularity, is a place that is undefined. And what we are seeing, this light that people are seeing, is really the uh, electromagnetic flux pointer to a higher dimension of hyperspace. Hyperspace means beyond the third dimension. It is really a connection between the mind and the cosmos. And Nikola Tesla, of course, picked up on this as well 
when he talked about the numbers three, six, and nine, which are really powerful, powerful numbers. And he noted there was a novel, which is really a, a grid that is around the planet. And that grid is really a portal between the third and the fourth dimension. So there's all of these things that we are yet to discover. As I said, I don't attempt to prove anything. I have seen orbs in my own eyes, uh, many colours, in many different circumstances. I've been next to people who've seen the same thing at the same time. And that rules out any camera flash because there was no cameras present at all. So when, when people start to see these things live, see them for real, you can see that there is something in existence. And it only takes one of these orbs to be real to really change the face of reality. So again, why not sign up to my free newsletters? Why not take a look at my uh, website? Why not take a look at my books? Or why not come and, and view some of my talks when I go extensively into a lot of these subjects? And you can find me at www.michael-feely.com. So again, thank you for, for watching this video. There will be many more on these subjects. So again, thank you for your time and you take care.